Good morning! We're exploring South Wales and our first stop today is the Mumbles. <laughs> So we're at the Mumbles. Um, I did ring the council to see if I could use one of these bus parks, which is, they're all empty, but he said we would get ticketed. However, it does say if we use two spaces, we need to pay for two spaces. So we shoehorned it in over here into two spaces. Let's go to the arcades. Perfect spot for rock pulling. <laughs> here she comes. There's the famous Big Apple. The Big Apple. <laughs> I understand somebody drove into that a few years back and they had to replace it, but... Um, someone's driven into it again recently. Anyone that's gone to the Mumbles will know that. You might think on a glorious day like today that a hat is a bit overkill, <laughs> but <laughs> we're three nights into world camping and I need a shower so my hair needs doing. So it's got a double purpose. Look at the view over the bay there. Fantastic. Who's winning? Yeah. Yeah. Many coins. is complete without a walk down the pier, huh? A little wander down the pier. Yeah. So the tide's in at the minute. And when the tide's out, you can walk across there. And then you want to get back before the tide comes in or you're stuck. When you walk to the end of the pier, you get panoramic views all the way around the Swansea Bay. Behind me is a 145-year-old life boat launching thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see from here behind Steve's shoulder is the lighthouse as well. Stunning. The pier was opened in 1898 and cost just £10,000 to build. It's now, 120 years later, undergoing a multi million pound refit to restore it to its Victorian glory. Right, that's the mumbles done. On to Swansea. We're heading to the Swansea Marina because we're staying at our first ever camper air. Um, it's £25 for the night, we've got our own space pre-booked, when we arrive there should be a PIN number that we put in, the gates will open automatically and I believe they even supply the electric cable. Very fancy. Um, but it is a secure park up and it will be the perfect place for us to go off and explore Swansea. have a look around this air later or tomorrow but first we're going to meet some relatives for some lunch. Well I think that must be an all-time record. The seven of us managed to eat <laughs> less than 50 quid. It's the joy of weather spoons I guess it's just uh, cheap and cheerful and it wasn't too bad either. It was nice. Now we're going to go and explore. Took behind the main um, drinking area, we found the Cross Keys, which is the oldest, well this is according to Uncle Terry, it's the oldest pub in Swansea dating back to the 1300s. The street to my left up the hill is called Wind Street and in olden days that was named after the wine merchants that were up and down this whole street. In fact there's one bar, the, the bar with no sign that Dylan Thomas used to come into and it's not changed very much over the years so you, when you go in you can see the different eras that the, the bar has lived through. I found Dylan Thomas, Wales's most famous poet. There you go. <laughs> it's a bit damp because we're in Wales. 
improper Welsh Swansea pride. This is Captain Cat. He was a character in Dylan Thomas's radio play, Under Milk Wood. All right, love. Look at the boats. No, I'll get seasick. All right. Yeah, wash my hair. <laughs> All fresh. Yeah, not hiding it under my hat anymore. <laughs> it's a bit fluffy though. <laughs> We've just taken a quick walk to a second site that we saw. It was a completely free park up. Um, I'm really pleased we secured the site we did because this one is full or under construction. So uh, I think we were quite lucky. Loving all the buildings they've done at the, uh, at the marina. Look at this one behind me, it's huge. The penthouse at the top looks like it's really got some great outdoor space. Massive pointy balcony thing overlooking the sea and a small one at the back as well. It's been a lovely chilled evening in the van. We had some dinner, watched a movie, played some cards, and now kids are going to bed. We're gonna chill out and we'll show you around this awesome air in the morning. Good morning. Morning. So we had all the plans to use the facilities while we was at the marina. Um, number one being the leisure centre. They've got a fantastic water park with a lazy river, water slides. So I thought would get us on there this morning. I did not realise that we need to book so well in advance. I think in the past our half terms have been different weeks to the Welsh half terms. Mm. Um, so we've just always been able to do what we want when we want. So book that one in advance if you want to use it because that's three days booked up that one is right now. Yep. Um, the other one was the Big Pit. We wanted to do the Big Pit again because we hadn't mm. done it for a few years. So we was going to do that on the way home. That's booked up till Sunday. <laughs> That's booked up nearly a week in advance. So. We've tempted the kids with, <laughs> with breakfast. <laughs> How do you make the kids excited when you can't get them on these things? I tell you what, <laughs> offer them an all you can eat McDonald's breakfast and that's what we've done yeah <laughs> they're excited for it so let's go so our secure motorhome parking is just over here but right next to it is a free car park so there is a free stop for you right there right next to us we'll put it in the uh, in the description the what three words for this place the marina is a good place um, to base yourself to see see a lot of the different sites in Swansea if they're not all booked up. They seem to have revived this area with an abundance of flats, shops, restaurants, museums, um, and it's, it's, it's fantastic. I know it's been done for a few years now, um, but it is a cracking place. Um, and of course, some safe parking for your motorhome to explore Swansea. Well, that worked out quite well. I always promise them, eat as much as you can McDonald's. It doesn't cost you much. Um, first off, we spent 24 pounds getting everyone something and then they went back up for a second round and did another nine quid. Right, let's head to the museum. Interesting, huh? Yes. Do you like a good museum, my love? I do, I love the history side of things, yeah. The kids, not so. They're sat down over there on their phones. They are bored. It's, I mean, it is a bit dry, I'm not gonna lie. It's not um, exciting and presented in a really engaging way. But if you like this kind of thing, it's worth a visit. And it's about the only thing I could get us booked in on, everything else being full, but it's free. So the National Waterfront Museum um, in Swansea, got a book in advance, but it is free, guys. So maybe worth a, a visit for a few hours. You can explore over 300 years of human history here in Wales and the impact of industry throughout the Welsh life. Hmm. Nice view of the waterfront out here, George. Well, I've learned something really interesting while we've been here. Over one third of Wales's coastland is actually man-made. That's partly reclaimed land, industrial areas and docks, and also sea defences. And as, um, as water levels rise over the next few years, they're expecting that that figure will actually go up beyond a third. You need bad, look. Yeah. It's the same C5, do you know that? Barely touched the pedals. Okay, we spent maybe an hour and a half in the museum. Um, kids weren't that interested, if I'm honest with you. Lindsay was, she loves that kind of thing, doesn't she? Anyway, while we were in there, I managed to book the kids onto Ninja Warrior in Cardiff 
at 2.30 this afternoon. I think they'll be a lot more interested in there. Back to the air now. We'll have a quick look around, show you guys around, and we're gonna check out and head over to Cardiff. Right, this air is run by Swansea Council, and the reception part is just here at the, uh, the marina reception. Um, what you do need to do is fill in a form and be a member, that's free, so once you inquire, give them a call, they'll email you the form, you can fill that out, register your details, um, and then pay. 25 quid, it's going to be secure parking for the night with electric hookup, um, use of toilet, showers, and what have you. Let me show you the toilets now. Around the back of this reception building here, you've got your private toilets, and then you've got a shower block for ladies, and a shower block for men. Put in your code. And this is all this. So in here we have the men's showers. There's two showers in total. You got one this side, one this side, your rhinos over here, and a couple of toilets just here and here. And the chap said, do warn them, I haven't cleaned them yet. So he's just cleaned them now. They are really nice clean facilities here, guys. You also have a chemical toilet waste disposal point in here. Getting a bit of work in at the minute, but there we are, you can empty your loo in there. There it is guys, safe, gated access. There's the details up here, phone number, web address. If you want to get in touch and book this. Secure park in here for 25 quid a night. Centre of Swansea, you can't go wrong really guys. Right, on to Cardiff. Kids have just spent an hour running around inside the Ninja Warrior. Um, what is it? It's an adventure park in Cardiff, just on the outskirts. They have run, they have climbed, they have jumped, they've run up walls, they've been in a giant bouncy castle and had the absolute best fun. George's face is bright pink, Harry's hair is super curly because of all the sweat, and it just, well, it's always cool anyway, but he has, he's worked hard as well. They've had so much fun. <sighs> and they're knackered. So <laughs> if you want to tie your kids out from, we saw small kids though, they were from about five upwards, I think. Ours are up to 16 and are all as tired as each other. So if you want to wear them out, this is a good spot to come. It's raining again, it's Wales, what would you expect? <laughs> Listen guys, we're gonna wrap it up there. We have had a lovely break down in South Wales, exploring some of the places that I, and I grew up, you know, and uh, the beaches and, you know, the amusements and everything that I did when I was a kid and I love sharing that with the boys. Yes, lovely. Yes. Hey, hope you enjoyed it guys and we will see you on the next one.